Hello everyone and welcome to the first um, art prompt for the Compassion Project Presents Art for Resilience. Um, this week's theme is on collective grief um, and to that end we're going to be making a drawing that's all about expressing our emotions through music and through drawing. Um, the idea this week is that by bottling up our emotions, we can actually be doing a lot of harm to ourselves and to each other. Uh, we might you know, be prone to lashing out and we might not be expressing those emotions in the right way. So uh, the project this week is all about channeling those emotions and those, those feelings of loss that we're all experiencing right now into something positive. Uh, and to that, I present uh, Drawing Your Favorite Song. The project this week is called Drawing Your Favorite Song. Uh, for this project, first pick out a song. Maybe the song is about how you're feeling right now. Maybe it's a song that reminds you of better times or is just a really good song. Then grab a wide variety of drawing materials from around the house. Put on your favorite song, uh, either over speakers so that you and your friends and family uh, can enjoy the song together and draw alongside each other or in headphones so that you can hear the song well. The fun part about this drawing is that it doesn't matter what you draw, just that while listening to the music, you are responding to the sounds uh, to let out what you're feeling with pens, pencils, and markers. For this project, it's good to have uh, a wide variety of materials around you. So I have some paper here that I'm going to be drawing on, but you can use copy paper, you could use a, a line notebook if you had it, um, legal pad, anything that kind of works to draw on. Uh, and then a good variety of tools is great for this to kind of switch things up. So I've got crayons, markers, some colored pencils, regular pencil, some different pens, sharpies, um, things that I kind of had laying around that would be handy. But again, whatever you have will be perfect for this. All right, so we've got all of our art materials picked out now, and we should have them laid out in front of us kind of like this. Uh, it's good to have them kind of right at arm's reach as we're doing the drawing so that you don't have to be rifling through boxes or trying to find a color that you want. So try and grab all those tools that you want to use. So I've got some different colored pencils, markers, uh, um, and uh, crayons out here as well, just so that it's easy for me to kind of grab as I'm drawing. Remember to pick out your favorite song, or maybe a song that shows how you're feeling. You can draw abstract shapes, and swirls, letting your hand dance with the music across the page, or you can have something more specific in mind and draw what the song makes you think of. You can even close your eyes, as it doesn't really matter what ends up being created, only that you allow your emotions to be part of that process. Just let yourself feel the music and remember why you love this song and let that be the guide for your drawing. You can even use two hands to draw or your opposite drawing hand. All of these things make some surprising and unexpected marks on the paper. Think about what colors you might use. Does the song remind you of warm, positive feelings? Then maybe reds, yellows, and oranges will work. Or, does the song have a sadder, cooler feeling? In which case, the use of blues, greens, and violets might make more sense. If you don't have anything with color, use pencils and pens to make interesting shapes and lines. You can draw to the beat, feeling the drums and rhythm, or thinking about how the melody flows through the song. Try not to judge what you create, but instead, look for the surprising connections shapes and overlapping colors that come from the process. This is all about allowing yourself to feel and expressing that through drawing. A few notes. This is all about individual expression. It isn't perfect art. This project is not to judge how good of an artist you are and is all about the process, having fun and seeing what happens. It might take a few tries to feel really comfortable with this exercise, so take a break if you need and come back to it later. As we go about our daily lives, we can be really critical of ourselves. Our hobbies can be defined by what we produce. 
This is an opportunity to break away from that frame of mind. This is all about the experience, making messes and being surprised by what you create. Maybe do this project two or three times, picking out a different song each time, or do it every day this week using a variety of songs about how you're feeling each day. If you worked on this with a group, share your drawings afterwards and notice how others interpreted the same song or talk about what that song specifically brought up for you. Get a friend to subscribe to do this with you if you're alone. Here are my two drawings. I really love how even though they are just scribbles, I can understand the energy behind them. The first is much faster, meeting the tempo of the song, and feels more chaotic. I used a wider variety of drawing tools on it as it felt like there's a lot going on in the music and maybe even in my own life right now. The second has more simple lines and feels slower and flowing and it gave me a nice sense of rest in completing it. This is an easy project to pick up whenever you need. Um, think of it as expressive doodling when you're letting your mind wander. Um, you could use any variety of materials beyond what I've already kind of uh, used for this project. Um, if you wanted to get more elaborate, think about uh, paints or even finger painting could be really interesting. Um, please feel free to share anything that you do come up with, as well as any art that you make from this. We would love to see what you, what you make. All right. So... Thank you so much for watching uh, the first week in the Compassion Project Presents Art for Resilience um, and this art prompt being the drawing your favorite song. So thank you so much for watching. More art is, is coming your way, so stay tuned.